Alright everybody, this is JT Mora and welcome to my first video on Biomutant! This game just came out and I uh... I saw a couple of, of trailers about the game, a couple of videos about the game and I thought it was just a cool concept. Holy shit! Who was behind me? Yeah, I thought this was a super cool concept. You're kind of like Rocket Raccoon. What? Come on! Everything's going wrong! I'm connected! Connected! Oh my god, who is this guy? Oh shit! Dodge! Actually, let me skip this. Let me skip this. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life A still plague? stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, oh, in no. need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. Ooh. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's this expect an, an unusual, unusual end. I'm Bob down for that. Mutant. Yeah, so I saw this game, saw a couple of trailers, and I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's give this a try. It it seems a lot like Ratchet and Clank bit of uh, Devil May Cry, all games that I kind of liked. Also, you're you're basically Rocket Raccoon. You're playing- Encode your DNA. All right, I'll encode my DNA. Yeah, you're basically Rocket Raccoon in this world trying to be a good dude or a bad dude. And I was like, you know what? I'm in, I'm in. Take my money, take it. So I have looked this up a little bit and I do, Hold on, so I'll show you guys in the next screen, but I know for what I want to go for, I need to be an intelligent guy. Okay, so it's between... Oh my god, I don't even... Uh, I can't even keep track. It's between Rex, because I see a lot a, a lot more on... I guess he has more health, key energy, energy regen, or I can pick this guy, who has not that much health, but a lot of power, key energy, and energy regen. FIP. Now, something that, that I've learned while uh, before buying this game is that you can change your uh, your appearance in game. So you're you're not necessarily going to be your genetic structure. I will. I will. Let me talk to the people. Yeah. So you're not necessarily going to have this appearance forever. You can actually change it in game, but I guess it's hard to find. Like you need to go into like a radiation pit to find uh, a thing, like a, a basic radiation pit to be able to, uh, to yeah, change your appearance. So the thing with me is I'm, I'm definitely gonna want a lot of agility and intellect on my guy. So let's see, agility 36, intellect 74. All right, Choose good enough for me. Resilience. So what am I going to be resilient against right at the start? I feel like they're going to throw us into a bunch of hot and cold <sighs> radioactivity. Hmm. I don't know. This is like one thing. This is like one thing in the game where it's like they're throwing so much at you right at the start that, like, how would you know? There's no way to really know right now what you want or what's useful. I mean, I can stand the heat better than like extreme cold. So. Let's Choose go with that. First style. My first style. I like the hand color. I guess once red, once a little splotchy over there. Well, I guess you keep the red hands. Oh no, 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 no you don't. You keep. You have like a couple of different things happening with you. Hmm. Let's see, uh, hands around his eyes. You know what? Maybe I'll just go with this. Right your main now. color. What are we gonna be like? Hmm, maybe we're a little bit like a cheetah. Ooh, this is kind of cool. You're basically like a rainbow at this point. You know what? I'm down for that right now. Choose your detail color. All right, detail color. Ooh, so that's the white. I don't want to be a total rainbow, do I? No. I feel like the rainbow was a good idea, but then the detail color is just all wrong. It's hard to find a cool detail color that matches the rainbow. Again, I'm spending so much time on here. You know what? I definitely, for the life of me, cannot pick a color. So I'm just going to start with this class. right now. 
Now, the classes is what I uh, I mainly wanted to do. Because you can be basically a sharpshooter, like a dead eye. Commando, so like mid-range weapons, like rifles. This one I was most interested in, even though Saboteur, Saboteur is kind of cool. So you can uh, just mess around with things. People can technically not shoot you as much, or like their shots just miss you. Like you, they're less accurate Sentinel. on you. Uh, not sure Sabot what Sentinel Cypher. is. But Cyfreak is the one where you can basically use magic or you can be like an X-Men and have superpowers. So that is definitely something. That's the one that I wanted to try from, from all the videos that I watched before this. So we're going to go with this one. I'm just going to read this real quick. Cyfreak chosen. We're going with Cyfreak. Yes. Oh, that confirm. All right, so we're moving forward. With a troubled past. Ooh, I can Born shoot. into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Ooh, all right. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply mm. stop living. All right, all right, all right. Drop but the choice you, on me. It's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of, of your, your key, key. The hmm. primal energy that flows through, through everything. everything. All right, well... I know this game a little bit, and I know about the tree. There's this, there's this thing in the game. It's called the Tree of Life, and you can either choose to preserve it or kill it. So you can either be a good guy or a bad guy. Uh, I kind of agree with the Tree of Life and everything, so I want to be a good guy for the game. So, and especially, I am all for freedom and loyalty. So we're gonna choose Let that. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light oh, and God. bright side of you. Or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. That's true. I am all for uh, balance. even the, and, and all for light and being a good guy in the game. However, this uh, fairy's, uh, this fairy thingy's voice is well annoying. I, I don't know. Uh, ew. Ew. All right, Seems I'm on your side, like though. being lightheaded, if you ask me. But you'll come around eventually. Oh. Oh, this guy is throwing a challenge at me. Comes around, goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't in your fight nature. what's in your nature. Oh, dear, I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. All right, all right. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be choosing light. Somewhat light. All right. Ooh, is that... Right is always right. Ooh, so I guess my melee attacks are going to be... So I guess my melee attacks are going to be supercharged by the looks of it. I guess I have unlimited melee combos, even though that's probably going to be, that's going to prove to be uh, a bit annoying because shooting guns, uh, like, hold on, is there anything else? Do I have anything else? What is, is this a block? I guess, uh, or jump, oh, circ, I mean, uh, circle. <laughs> Circle or, uh, which one is this? Or B to dodge? Okay, alright. Well, we have, uh, enemy over here. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A Ooh. reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Ooh. So... Meat eaters meat. I don't know how much looting you can do in this game. I guess not that much right now. I definitely like the trees here. It's definitely a very tropical place. Definitely something I vibe with. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? I, I don't you remember. You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Ooh. I wonder if he's going to get powers later in the game so he can, like, bring dead things to life. I guess there's some... Oh, shit. B for roll. Ah! 
Oh my god, Jesus! Come at me, bro. Oh, 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 Too quick for you. Oh. B and RT. Hold on, so. Ooh. So B and RT, and I can do some crazy stuff. A and RT. Ah! Ah! Alright, I'm gonna have to focus. This tutorial is not. Oh, come on. LB to parry. Alright, left bumper to parry. Let me try that. Oh, okay. Ooh. I have no idea. So B and X? Oh, come on. A and X? Alright, let's go A and X! A and X! Oh my god, I am fucking electrocuting his ass and cutting his weapon in half. Better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. I mean, I see you over there, bro. Oh, Jesus. I was just trying to go towards the the objective, the, the distance target thingy. But hold on. So this, this, I don't even know what to tell you guys. This thing, this, uh, I guess this is a tutorial. It's, it's absolute mayhem. Because I'm like, I don't even know, uh, like, which buttons I'm pressing or what I'm doing, really. All I know is that my melee attacks are, I guess overpowered at this point because of the magic that I have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to, to play this game a little bit more to understand exactly what has happened. I'm probably gonna have to do this time, a, a second tutorial. To run and live to fight another day. Hold on, I'll tell you guys right Let after us this. hope you're ready for it when it comes. Oh, Jesus. Right, I love how he uh, calmly closes the door behind him. Oh, I never even realized. I guess I'm wearing... I'm wearing a jacket. Alright, yeah, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not really sure what the looting is in this game so far. But hold on, so... I tried this before. Honestly, like I was saying, I can't even remember... Uh, most of the stuff that I just learned anyways. So... The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began. Ooh, and the Tree of Life started, started to, to die. die. So basically when the Tree of Life started to die, a lot of more move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Okay. Uh, aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. To reload your ranged weapons, press RB. Okay, RB to reload. That's unconventional. To use an ability, press the button, it's bound to, uh, oh, okay, so LT for me, left trigger. Throw a sparkling ball, here, so LT plus Y. Okay, I should actually try that. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When out of key energy, you won't be able to perform to perform any of these actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. All right, so what was I supposed to try again? This and Y, okay. I just messed this guy up, man. Mm, mm. Oh, jeez. I guess this guy just passed away. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. Let me try this again. B. Oh, never mind. Eh. Oh, okay, I should have dodged that. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess, you know what, dodging is not as quick as you would expect it to be. That's a bit annoying, but that's okay. Oh, 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 oh what's happening right now? I just dodged that out of the way. He was right about to eat me. He was right about to unleash a little, a little bite attack on me, but I guess I killed him beforehand. Hold on, so if I press this and I guess I only have one uh, magic attack right now. Pew, pew, 
box pracker. Okay, all right. To be fair, I have to say, uh, they weren't too hard to combat. I don't know what my health is, though. That's the thing. My key, I guess, is regenerating pretty fast. So that's good because I need these for powers. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else are we going to find? Uh, what is this? I guess you have little loot boxes along the map. Electric module. Okay, it's a weapon add-on. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type as for, for as long as the ammo lasts. Uh, some enemies have a resistance or weakness to, dif to different weapon special effects, so use them wisely. Okay, so should I attach it? Not that one. Oh, I guess this one. Okay, and then now what? Equip. Oh, I guess so now I shoot electric, electric, uh, bullets. I wonder if there's a way to travel faster. Because I keep jumping and hitting the ground to, to travel faster. Alright, health regen, 50, take, uh, pick up, yes. Uh, you can use a bandage by holding up. I guess, or whatever quick select uh, option. Okay, is mine up? It is. But I guess I don't need it right now because my health looks full. Okay. Uh, on. which way though? Let me try. Let me try the door first. Uh, I see something in there. Oh god. Oh god! Interact with the toilet. Lol, energy pack, small energy region. You know what? I'll take it. I love, uh, I love the the brain of whichever developer uh, came up with the idea of putting things inside toilet bowls. Uh, <laughs> I definitely feel like they had a good laugh about this. And all right, so they want me to go upstairs. Ooh, now we are outside. Oh, what the? Is this cricket? This crooked person, is he supposed to be with me? Oh, I, I hear enemies. Remember to parry enemy attacks. When the enemy attacks, you see the lightning bolts flash above their heads. Oh, okay, makes sense. You know what? The oil sludges everywhere. To most, what, shoot? it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Right, I'm just gonna get you guys with the bullets. Drop a little. Ooh. Let me get you with that. You know what? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, I'm taking mad damage. Oh, so my dodging is not on point. Because so I keep pressing jumping. I keep pressing jump to dodge. But. Uh, what has happened to my key, bro? Why am I not? Switched off the lights. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll just, uh, let's try this. Let's try this. <clears throat> all right, so this guy's definitely dead. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. Fall enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy, then press Y. Okay. Remember to use your healing items when wounded. Okay, that's for sure. I should definitely, maybe, yeah, let's use that. Is that going to heal me all the way, though? Uh, is oh okay. There we go. So energy regen. Okay, pick that up. Health regen. Let's pick that up. Something on the ground here, though. What's that? Two K link. Two K link. I have no idea what that is. 
Oh yeah, I definitely uh, also remember this game being a lot about martial arts. So you can you can pretty much see like a little bit of of a uh, kung fu panda type fighting action happening in this game. I definitely like that too. Uh, the thing with me right now though is I just I ex I really need to remember what the buttons are and what my combos are because I have no idea what the combos are so far. I've just I've just been lucky just killing everyone. Ooh. What in the Oh, good god. Oh. Send some. Oh, come on! Oh, 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 get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, I hope that did some damage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Let's not die! Hell no! Hell no, senor! You get out of the way. I'm gonna finish this guy and then... Oh, that was a big miss. Big miss. You know what? Get him! Oh no. Did I completely miss this? What is happening right now? Why is my power not working? There we go. Guess you know what? Oh, oh, that didn't work out for you there. Now did it? You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna melee attack the hell out of you because I'm not powerful. I'm powerful with my attacks. There we go. I definitely keep trying to use the guns. Uh, what is this? Health regen. You know what? I'll take all of that. I'll take all of that. Uh. What's this as well? What's the K-Link thing? K-Link plank? Can I build things with that after? I think that's what that is. Uh, I keep trying to use the guns, but that's definitely not my uh, specialty for sure. Uh, I feel like if you're a Deadeye or... Well, because I guess I only have a pistol, but if you're probably a one of those... Well, if you're a commando, uh, I'm sure you have a, a machine gun that you can use. But for me specifically... I definitely feel like uh, my melee attacks are, are a thing, so I need to really learn. It's like, yeah, I definitely forgot the combos. God damn it! So bad at this because he was throwing so much at me uh, in the in the intro, so I forgot all of them. But you know what? Let's just let's just keep going. We'll figure it out. Um, for the heck of it, let me just take what is this? Tongue tickly. Uh, sweet meat, dandy candy, 200, 175, 225. Oh, my health is full. So does your health regenerate over time? Because I thought it didn't. Maybe maybe mid-fight it doesn't regenerate. But past your fight it might. I don't know, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Oh yeah, so you can run faster. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Let me, let me prep this guy. So carry shields. You need to break the shield. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, iron wall. You know what? Oh. You know what? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, look at you go. Look at those nut shots. You can't even. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, 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 shit. Parry. Parry. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I have to parry those things. Oh no, why am I jumping in his way? You know what? Oh, where are you? Where are you running to, bro? You know what? Let me put a stop to your running. Ooh, a little slide under the under the nuts. Under the nuts. Ah! He no. Oh, 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 am I too fast for you? Am I too fast for you? Oh, 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 under the nuts, under the nuts, under the nuts. I love Oh no 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 oh, shit, no oh, shit no oh, shit oh, What am I even saying? What am I even saying? I don't even know what I'm doing! Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god, what did I just do right now? I don't even know what I just did right now. This was just absolute, just melee hitting X all the way till, it, till he died. Are there more? Are there more iron, iron walls? Oh, you know what, let me... Oh, uh, come on, reload. You know what? Oh, 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 oh. No jumping. Mm. Oh, this guy didn't even know what hit him. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling you, sorry, leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. Okay, you also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu per in perks menus. To go to the menu, press that button on a controller. All right, sorry, I'm now level two. Can I uh, grab stuff from them? Yeah, whatever. Let's pick up everything. Uh, I guess mid fight, you're gonna have to just like. It's not too hard. It's actually not too hard. So I guess mid mid fight you can just go and use one of these real quick and then you're pretty much good to go. I do have to say though, I guess the fighting mechanics are kind of cool but a bit confusing if that makes sense. When you're playing uh, as this character, especially melee, because like there's no actual way to like target anyone with anything. I guess with guns you can. Or I guess, I don't know, I feel like it's probably the same. I feel like the fighting is a lot of fun, but it's not too accurate. You Look, can definitely button mash to get through, that's what I feel like. A rare sight. Oh, never mind, I just need to interact with it. Alright, you know what? New weapon! A crowbar. Old world claw bar. Alright. I love how they call it old world. Because I guess we're so far into the future now that the time when everyone was using crowbars is a long time ago. To these, to these uh, new guys. All right, so exit the room. I wonder if this is it. Is that what happens? That All you do is. looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Okay, yeah. I wonder if that's this, that's what the game. So you just keep f uh, running through the map and fighting enemies the whole way. Hmm. Oh, gotta press X. All right. Ooh. Whoa. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Uh, okay. So as far as I know, for like in the in the tutorial, uh, he was saying that uh, it's better to just not do some fights. Like for some enemies, I guess you can just. Oh my God! Oh no! Jump, 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 jump! Oh shit! Ooh, what was that? So I guess this is danger for them. I'm completely dark. I just, I literally just ran and jumped and pressed uh, to do an attack. But I guess if you, you definitely need to long jump, I guess. Okay. All right, what now? What do we have? This looks like an enemy right there. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Okay. Well, I guess this is the resistance that I took. A lot of bio. A lot of biohazard resistance. So I'm guessing I'm not taking a lot of damage from these guys. You know what? I'm going in! Oh, 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 oh. Fists of fury. Oh, yeah, you know. Mm. Oh, 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 No, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no 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 what just happened? What just happened? Go fading. Oh 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 am I am I am I am I fading? Oh no wrong button. Uh rid of the aches and pains. 
So I guess this is what you have to keep doing throughout the fight. Oh, 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 oh. Neutralized. Oh, no, 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 Oh. I definitely got to work on my parry versus uh, dodging. Because I keep doing that a lot. So biolobs, you absorbed a biolob, okay? These are points used to unlock mutations. Hell yes! This is exactly what I wanted, more mutations. Uh, you collect biolobs by defeating morks and finding containers, uh, containers at various places in the world. Okay. Uh, you can use biolobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. That's definitely what I was looking for. Ooh, so I got three bio points. Uh, can I loot any of them for more bio? So this is... Alright, I got the jumping down now. This is definitely uh, the part of the game that I was most excited about. And that's the the powers, the mutations. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But hold on. So what did they say? How do I... This is not it. I was trying to figure out character. Okay, yeah. Let's figure out what we can do with mutations here. So when you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10 to pick which attribute you want to increase from the list. Okay. Oh, okay, so I could get some of these. I feel like I'm pretty good on health so far. Maybe melee damage hit? Cause like, I'm doing a lot of melee damage. Maybe a bit of agility would also help. Even though, you know what, I'm gonna go melee damage right now because I feel like I'm, I'm doing wonders with uh, with my melee damage. So I'm gonna go with that or I could even just go more intellect. Oof, I'm not really sure. Agility would also be helpful. Uh, if I go, I just, okay, stat details. Let's go with that. Let's read this real quick. So vitality defines the amount of health and energy cost of dodging. That would be nice because I do dodge a lot compared to parrying. Health, we all know what that is. The higher your melee damage stat, the more damage you deal. This is increased by increasing your strength attribute. Uh, okay, intellect. All right, so what does this do? So the intellect attribute defines how much key energy you have and how fast your key energy regenerates rates as well as the amount of damage you deal with psi powers and mutations. Intellect can also define the amount of moves you can perform when you complete puzzles. Okay. Oh, okay. So power, your power stat is used to define the amount of damage you deal with all kinds of psi powers and mutations. So I definitely need to upgrade power. Key energy is used for all kinds of combats. Your all special attacks, but, uh, psi powers and mutations cost energy to use. Your key energy regenerates and can be replenished with consumables. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is how fast your key uh, regenerates. Defines your overall speed, okay. Charisma defines how easy it is to persuade other characters as well as how high your barter stat is. Power is an intellect, so I guess if I upgrade intellect, I get all three. And strength would push, I guess, a little bit. My melee damage would increase. You know what? Let me go... Yeah, I, I don't know why. I feel like I'm not sure if I should do this right now, but I'm going to go with this. Swole. I guess uh, David Attenborough there started using words as getting swole. Uh, upgrade points. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Ranged or melee? Well, I don't know which one's which. Unarmed, one-handed slash. Oh, so I can only do this. Unspeakable hand. <laughs> I guess that's a bit funny. Unspeakable hand. XXY. Or gun gun and one hell of a stomach shot. Uh, I don't even have that. I can only get this one. Unspeakable hand. Uh, or I could get ranged combat with guns. Hmm. Crane dance. Uh, you know what? Especially because my uh, character is a bit more on the melee attack you know i'm gonna go with unspeakable hand we'll get that one done uh you can now perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped once you've unlocked more 
attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach the super wung fu state. All right, we got you down. But then what about, my, oh, there we go. There's the mutations menu. So go to the mutations tab to unlock psi powers, biogenetics, and upgrade your, your, resist, your resistances. Okay, where is that? Uh, once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks. Uh, in the Wung Fu and Perk menus. Okay, we'll do. So I have Bio Points right now. And I have to go to Mutations. Okay, Biogenetics, Psi Powers, or Upgrade Resistance. Uh, there are two types of mutations, Biogenetics and Psi Powers. Both are special abilities, but unlocked using different currencies. Okay. So Moth Mouth, enemies will attack their allies instead of you. What? I'm, I'm pretty down with that. If you hit someone, they start attacking their own people. Okay, Vile Bile. It will make you spew toxic slush in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage to all enemies. You know what? The way that I play sometimes, I actually like causing a bit of mayhem and, and taking, you know, taking less heat, if that makes sense. So I'd rather have a smaller crowd attacking me than a bigger crowd. And I feel like this could definitely come in useful because I could hit one or two people with this and they'd start attacking each other. Compared to this, it's not bad. I guess you could just spew it everywhere and everyone that's walking into your bile is getting hit. Let's see, what could my psi powers be though? Blaze? Oh, I can't do that. Ooh, so this is the kind of magic that I can do. Or blink. Blink, I'm guessing, is a little bit more elect electricity type. Yeah, that's true. But I can't unlock any of these. Uh, upgrade resistance. I guess I could do that. But do I want to do that right now? Because that would allow me to reach 10 on all of them. You know what? I'm going to go biogenetics. Or let me look around. Let me. Maybe I should just wait and get something else. All right. So I, I definitely looked at all of these. Um, fungi, they all seem like cool in their own way. Fungi is a mushroom that comes out from under the ground. And you can use it to hop on to get like, I guess like a double jump. Or you can toss people around like so up there. See like... You got like a massive leap up in the air and you can basically just finish an enemy into the air. Rad Wisps is basically wisps. You're like Yondu from uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy with his arrow, except there is multiple, multiple wisps here uh, attacking an enemy. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Storm Hop is basically, I, I kind of like this. I definitely feel I, I, I would be someone that's using this. Uh, you just jump up, come down into one hell of a smash into the ground and damage all the enemies around you. Mucus bubble, I'm not really sure how it works, but you have a bubble around you, you just jumping around. I guess when there's enough enemies around you, you can explode it. Uh, mud punch also seems kind of cool. Uh, basically, a punch from the ground will fly someone up in the air and you can basically finish them with a melee weapon or I guess if you're... Uh, using, I don't know, some sort of ranged weapon too, you could. Uh, turtle form, I guess, is just travel faster. So if you're going down a slope, you can travel faster, jump up, and if you can actually combine it with storm hop, that would be deadly. That's what I'm really looking for. But out of all of these, moth mouth, I guess like vile bile, I don't even know. It costs more, maybe it's better, but I definitely like moth mouth because... I'm, I'm definitely going to like the mayhem of making, uh, you know, enemies attack each other They're while I'm in there, while I'm going in there to just plowing down, pounding shit, killing people. So I feel like this is definitely going to match my style of gameplay, even though it's, you know, it's less expensive, I guess easier to get, but this is what I'm getting. All right. All right, little guy. We can now make enemies fight between each other. Uh, did I not bind it? Yes, I did. Okay. I have one more point, but I can't use it right now. I guess I can upgrade a resistance. What am I going to get first? What, the, what is the game going to throw at us first? Anti, like, are, are we going to have fire first or cold? I feel like fire is going to come first. I could be so wrong. But let's do this. All right, 13 or 10% resistant to a lot of things. Let me read this real quick and then I'll summarize what I what my findings are with you guys. All right, so this was basically just explaining the aura. So your aura is whether you're a good guy or a bad guy. So I guess something else I just found out right now is as a Psy Freak, uh, you can get upgrade points for those too, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can uh, have more intellect at night. So you fight a little smarter, a little better at night. 
Uh, mind melt. Uh, power damage ability attacks have 10% chance to increase. To sorry, to inflict a critical hit. That's that's not bad. Uh, size spikes are kind of cool. So inflict 10% more damage to the target. That's always always useful. Uh, brain drain. So if you're dealing power damage, you regenerate your health by 20%. I don't know if that's necessarily that good, but I don't know. I'll take it. I'll take it. I definitely feel like my melee attacks are just I just like mowing through them, even though now I'm thinking maybe uh, the enemies are not that of a high level right now. Man, I can't believe I was just here. I went on a on one hell of a mind bender and there, up, trying to upgrade up, my character. You go. Yes, let's keep going. The people have things to see. I wonder. Oh, I do see a chest down there. Alright, I definitely need that chest. I don't know what's in there, but I'm going for it. I don't know how easy it's gonna be, but... I guess decently easy? Well, this one's gonna be a challenge. There's a wall right in front of me. Or is that, is that even a chest? Or is it just a rock? Alright, I'm not even sure how, how to do this right now. Oh, what? Uh. Not even really sure how to do this one. Oh, okay. Skills. But then how do I jump there? Or can I just straight make it? Let's see. Oh, straight made it. All right, what is this? Please tell me something good. Oh, health regen. Okay. I'll pick that up. That was it. Come on. I thought this was going to be some cool weapon. The, I guess the movement mechanics are really good in the game. Uh, Cause I saw a lot of mixed reviews about this game. So I don't know. I can, I can definitely see how like the fighting mechanics are a bit clunky, not super accurate, but the walking mechanics are really good. It's really smooth. Can I run anyhow? I'm not sure. This is how I reload. I'm not sure how to run really. I'll figure it out later at some point. Uh, so the narrator, David Attenborough there, really wanted us to get out of here. So let's find a way out. Loot, loot, loot things around. No, no loot for me. All right, all right, all right. Toxin all built vessels Ooh. called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. All right, all right, but all right. Was it too late? It is I don't only know. from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that Ooh. we know other arcs traveled through the, the sky, sky and, and beyond. beyond. It, it seems, seems that those, those that came, came before us never lost never hope in, lost finding, hope a new home in finding a new home for their kind. kind. All right. Toxin Stop. To save them Stop. From the Stop. Doom. Escape. Escape. Uh, I guess if you're playing this game, definitely make sure that you uh, don't hit things randomly because you're going to have to listen to that person talk all over again. Oh my God. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others feature different rewards. Okay. Uh. Is that it? Oh man, that was super easy. I thought that was going to be so complicated. All right, what does the game have to show us? There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Hmm, Their okay. rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated Ooh. tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills what? until they ran you, out of space. You can't drop That's nuclear waste in a landfill. The big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead. Bad assuming idea. That it would sink and decay with time. What? And That's not how it works. Right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. 
Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and Ooh, created bizarre, bizarre mutations. mutations in their offspring. Like X-Men. Inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Ooh, so I guess this was a little bit of exposition in, on the game and how things worked. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Alright, so there was a lot of, I guess, uh, what would you call this? Nuclear waste? Well, you can't really dispose of nuclear waste by uh, putting it in landfills. I guess the actual way of disposing of it... The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. I, I agree. I do not like the pew pew. Door. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait a total a second. Warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Ooh. Oh yeah, the mantis. The mantis is also my uh, flashlight. Okay. But yeah, so you uh, deal with toxic waste by digging. I mean, not toxic waste by nuclear waste by literally digging a hole into the ground, like miles deep, and then they're put into barrels and then basically just sent into the earth. That's how they deal with uh, nuclear waste. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. Uh... Okay, actually that's not too bad at all. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Well, um... Did that not work? There you go. Oh, that worked. Okay. Well, what's that? Friend or foe? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Out of date. Uh, perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. That's true, it does. When you parry them. Uh, stunned enemy has stars circling above their head and after hitting the enemy again... And after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing LB. Okay, good God. I don't even remember what parry is, let alone, I don't know. Let's the just go into one it. one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not even hitting them actually. Uh, where's my, where's my attack? Right, there we go. Now we have allies. Unbreakable hand. Why? You're on your way to promise you will trigger a special attack. Okay. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna finish you before you even have time for anything. What? Oh! Pilot driver, motherfucker. Mm, mm, mm. Unspeakable hand, pallet driver on you. I'm like the fucking Undertaker out here, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. How are you not dead yet, Jesus? You take a few bullets to the face. Oh, 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 You know what? I'm gonna finish you just like that. Okay, okay, wield one. Oh my god, there's so many more. Oh, I guess I missed it completely. Oh no! Oh no! That's the last. There one. we go. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Before backup arrives? What do you mean? Uh, give me a second. Let me pick up my whatever those are. My clink and polym. Wonder if those are like polymers to make things. But this game is quite scientific. That's the good stuff. If it is, if it is uh, stuff with polymers and whatnot, oh, 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 that might come in handy. Yeah, it might. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I definitely don't want this guy to run out on me, though. Where did he go? Where's the? A new friend, an old friend. All right. Well, we've made one alliance, I guess, in the game so far. Man, the nature in this game, I don't know, I could definitely just play this game to look at the environment. It is a great time. Can I break anything? No, I can't. Here's some food over here, some vegetables. 
All right, let's talk to him. What's up, wheeled one? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. You know what? Thank him he for me. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Okay. You know what? I, I thank him for the help, too. Out of date. Ooh, he knows okay. he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Okay. okay. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. Ooh, the night everything changed. changed. Yeah, we still don't know what happened to him. What happened to my guy with his family? There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Hmm. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. Ooh. The child could have been anyone, but the evil, evil it had, had fled had, had left, left a mark, mark. a hmm. facial scar to remember the past. Huh. Actually, the scar or remember? Yeah, let's see. Remember what? How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the, the old, old village. village. Ooh. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's huh. no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to, to your village, village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning <laughs> of the end. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna wait for them to finish this he before I talk to you guys. It's taken you a long time, time to, to bring, bring the past, past back up to the present, present, to find your way back. But he's it's grateful, grateful that I have. have. Okay. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Uh -huh. Your Mooma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The unity. So I guess before everything was united and then after they became different tribes. But I don't want to ask him what unity it is what unity means if that's what it means so like everything was united before because what's at stake could be super easy like oh you know all what is good and evil you know is at stake like all everything could be good or everything could be bad uh i just don't know how the game works i don't know how detailed it is could unity just be something completely different let's go unity i don't know why i feel like I feel like going with this after the old village was destroyed Troy, and you disappeared, disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Hmm. Okay. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would, would have survived. survived. Okay. He hopes you at least remember, remember the, the tree. tree. Hmm. All right, are we going to get a flashback to what the tree is? But no, we don't. It's over. My aura is balanced. Okay, it's not necessarily okay, good or evil. I thought it would be good, but okay. Way back in the long ago. Okay, so oh, my child, it's me as a little kid. Uh oh. Okay, so I can't go back there. I was wondering if I need to explore. I have to say, I think I have a plant in my apartment that looks literally like this. I might just take a picture and edit it in there. Uh, Alright, so I need to go there. Hmm. You know what? Let's not loot around here. I don't think there's going to be much to loot. This is more exposition. Who's this guy? Oh, is that him when he was young? He was best before. Uh -huh. Asks up, if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Uh, I know. I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. That's true. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life Ooh! oh you know what I, I definitely believe in magic so i'm gonna choose this answer translate you might be right like potatoes they're packed with energy an excellent, an excellent source, source of, of key. key and you know what? i love potatoes man mashed potatoes fries you can do so much with potatoes 
For mm. Nono prefer to hide in glitter oh, grass. grass. Okay. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. You know what? I'm down. I'm ready for it. Let's let's go find glitter grass and ruffle it. Oof, the movement's so much slower as a as a kid. I don't mind it though. I just I'm wondering if there is Oh my god. I had faster movement the whole time. So yes, there is uh there is sprinting in the game. Do I need to interact or what do you want me to do with it? Where is it? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You All right. Found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. Okay. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, okay, let's go with that. The small tree you saw up there where you met okay. will eventually grow into a tree of life and oh, start giving back to nature. It will be, be the, the heart, heart of the of land. Me. Okay. Oh, good you God. need to support the tree for, for a long, long time, time to, to come. come. Okay. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. Hmm. All right. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of ki, the primal, primal energy. energy. Okay. There's definitely a lot of like, I guess, um, what would we call like good, good fortune, like, like positivity type lore in this game. And I kind of, I, I definitely like that. Uh, but hold on. What? Oh, 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 oh you little, there we go. Caught ya. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. You know what? I'm happy you're happy, Elvis guy. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono, Nono out there, there, there that, that need, need to be guided, guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Well, I guess he needs as, as many... As oh, many as it can get. Continuous flux right? of yeah. key over the twenty twelve months to come. So countless, he'd say. One day he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Okay. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Alright, I'm down with that. Uh alright, so now I have to go back to the tree. You know what I definitely uh, a lot of people were, I don't know, I guess this is, um, the narrator narrating everything because, uh, the characters are basically talking gibberish is something that could go either way. Like a lot of people do not like, a lot of people might not like it. A lot of people might like it or more people might not like it. I'm not really sure. Most reviews I've seen for the game, I've seen everyone generally not like it very much. But I gotta say, I kind of like it. It just adds like a bit of charm to the game, like a charm that that matches the game's energy, basically. With like, with like, you know, you can see the environment, the characters. It's a little bit quirky. I don't know. It kind of goes with it. I, I rather like it. Ooh, so one of them gave that much growth to the tree. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have, have no, no reason, reason to, to doubt. doubt, okay? From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, for everyone, day, okay? The land won't be as peaceful. Ooh, it's Not like he already knew. Uma will be able to protect us. Ooh, oh no. What do we do then? You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted. And unless something changes, we're doomed. The hmm. land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Oh, okay. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. 
All right. Yes, sure. I shouldn't make her worry. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Hmm. Okay, so that tree of life, and that's the guy that I knew when I was uh, a baby. A baby. He lost you there for a while. But no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Ooh, is the tree not strong anymore? The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Ooh, I'm guessing the end of days is when that toxic company uh, and their toxic waste took over everything. Uh, world eaters, what are those? The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation hmm. inflicted on the land, set That's the true. world eaters' DNA into overdrive. Ooh, okay. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end, end of, of the, the West, West route. route. Okay. Ooh, so that's, I guess, I'm guessing the tree in the Wiz middle there? is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest route. Okay. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Hmm. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy. But he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Hmm, okay. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Huh. All right. Uh, how do I defeat the world leaders, I guess? Because I'm not even sure what Porky Puff is. Yeah. His friends have prepared something specific for each World Eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majute, and the Goo Glide are almost ready to ride. Ooh, okay. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. All right. Ooh, new weapon or... Oh, okay, I can catch those little uh, thingies for the tree. I'm down for that. Uh, new main quest, the end of the world. New main quest, the fate of the world. So all, I'm gonna get five new quests right now. No, just two, just two, okay. Can't interact with him. He's basically just waiting for me to do my thing. Okay, interact. Oh, quickest oh, way that's what... through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. But do I need to close the door to keep this guy safe? I guess it's all right. We just need to get out of here. Uh, so basically, we're trying to... We're basically just trying to save the tree. That that would be my goal because I'm, I'm playing a good guy in my, in my game, like this game. Uh, so we're trying to save the tree and save all of the friends. Even though he seems like a swell guy, so he knew our our Muma or our mom, and yeah, he knows our family. He trusts us. Know that the tree of life is dying; its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Ooh, I definitely like this view. This is. Man, the, the visuals in this game, is they're so good. Like, they spent quite a bit of time making everything look great. The colors are so vibrant. The adventure begins. I have to say, though, I guess the game uh, throws a little bit at you in, in, sense of, in the sense of... Uh, 
I guess the good in the planet is nature, and then the evil in this planet is nuclear energy, or I guess humans uh, wasting uh, wasting nature. It's kind of cool. It's a bit like the planet, the state of the planet right now, and climate change, and using energy the wrong way. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely with it. I kind of like this game. And you know what? I'm just going to end it right here because I think I just hit a save spot. I'm going to end it right here for uh, episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I love making videos and I hope they keep getting more popular and everyone keeps everyone. Everyone loves to watch them. I hope it grows. But yeah, so drop a like if you like the video and if you like my video and you want to watch more, then make sure that you subscribe. And I'll, I'll keep making, I'll, I'll make these as fast as possible and post them as fast as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.